Hey folks, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, welcome back to the channel. This is the Past Farmstead. My name is Ian. Um, today we're going to be doing some seed starting and I just want to talk real briefly. It's going to be a shorter video. I'm just going to talk about what I do to start and kind of show you the process and then packing the uh, seed trays uh, and then I'll do a little bit of what I'm planting. I'm not going to show everything um, because there's a million videos on that out there but I just want to throw this out there. I have a really detailed video from last year that you can go back and watch but this one's going to be a little bit, little bit more laid back. Um, it is the last day of March. I want to get these seeds started. I really should have got it about two weeks started started about two weeks ago But life and guess what the garden doesn't care um, I'm, We're really fortunate. I have a very forgiving growing zone uh, up here in North Alabama One can throw stuff out there all the way up until like November and it'll probably start growing um, So we've got plenty of time. I'm not worried about that I'm gonna do some things differently this year like I'm gonna do some, some succession planting So I'm not gonna do the whole garden in one whack like I did last year it worked fine um, but I want to be able to kind of have a harvest that lasts over, you know, two or three weeks, maybe even a month if I can time things correctly. But that's not what we're doing today. Today all we're doing is mixing some dirt. Um, so if you watched my video from last year, you know that I love this stuff. I talked a lot about it last year. But go to Lowe's or go to your local feed store. This is where I got this from. And get you some black cow. Um, it's manure and compost. It's low odor. Um, it's all natural, so you don't have to worry about them putting a bunch of extra random stuff in there. Um, and then I'm also this year instead of using the Miracle Grow, I was not impressed with that. Uh, last year we used the Miracle Grow vegetable and garden. I think it worked fine. I just wasn't super impressed with it. It was it was really wood chippy, which is not not a problem. But I really wanted something a little less wood chippy. So we're going to try something a little bit different today. Um, and that is this Jungle Growth. Uh, let's see if I can pick it up for you here. Jungle Growth. We're going to give this a shot. Okay. But uh, one of the reasons I got this is it's cheaper. Uh, but it is um, going to hold some, some some moisture, which is what I wanted to do here in the greenhouse because I'm not dumping all this all over the, the garden. I'm just using it to start seeds in um, and doing some transplant. I'll probably put some in when I transplant them. I'm going to be mixing both of these bags together in my lovely utility cart here. And I guess I'm yeah, that. It's just one of those pull behind the lawnmower utility carts. That dumps, which is great. So when I'm done, I just dump what, the, what I don't need in the garden. But uh, you can also do this. If you don't have a utility card, you can use a five-gallon bucket. This one's from Tractor Supply. They're usually about five dollars, which with inflation right now, they're probably more than that. Uh, I've used stainless. Uh, well, I'll show you. Used this bad boy before. I've got an even bigger one we've used before. Before I get started, I'm going to show you this black cow real quick. Get a little hole started here. All right, so this is the black cow. I just cut the cut a slit in the end here. I'll probably pull more out, but it's very nice looking dirt. Uh, you'll see it's not got the white specks in it like you would get from like Miracle Grow or anything. It is just straight up cow manure and composted dirt. There are some like wood chips in it, but they're very thin. They're very very thin, and you know, they're not going to be poking anybody. They're 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 damp. So. That will be going in a, in a bucket here. And then before I mix all this together, I just want to show you. And you may not even notice a difference um, between this and the other stuff. But this is a little bit drier. It does have some... This is a little bit drier. It's got some sticks and stuff in it, which is fine. Um, you can always work around that. But it's got a lot of organic matter in there. But it, which is great, which is what you want, but it's also got some additives. Looks like we got some of our lovely white stuff. Um, use it in Miracle Grow. It's really all that really does is hold on to moisture, <laughs> um, which is not a huge problem for us down here. Uh, and just for comparison, I do have a bag of potting mix, Miracle Grow potting mix. Um, and you can see the difference there. This is very dry. Flake, you can see it's just dry, dusty. Um, but there's a lot of plant matter. I mean, there's full on sticks and stuff in here. Um, this is not what I used last year, it's just potting mix. But what I used last year looked just kind of like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to mix these together. So I'm going to finish opening this bad boy up. And I don't have a specific ratio. I guess if you really wanted to, this is one cubic foot to two cubic feet. Um, I probably won't put all that in there. I like the black cow to start with. I just don't want to use it straight up. 
I do want to have some plant matter and things in there as well. I like the black cow a lot because I'm, I've never found a rock in there. I'm not saying it won't happen to you, but I've never had any, or if that has happened, I've just never noticed. So we're just gonna make this a pile of this. And we'll just go ahead and use the whole bag. I can stop right here and just use this. This is good dirt for that, but a rock. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, but I want to mix some other stuff in there as well. So we're going to let this guy open. Hold this down a little bit more. Start adding this. Now this has got a lot more of the organic matter. The reason I want some more of the organic plant, plant and wood chips and things like that, I don't want a lot, but I do want some because it'll be in the we'll be planting with it, um, and it'll be mixed in with the garden, and it will only help. This does have an interesting kind of. Not Vicks Vapor Rub smell, but it, it just for some reason reminds me of that. Um, so we're, we're not going to put a ton of this in there. I think I did two to one. I don't think I'm going to do that much. Um, there is a lot of, there's a lot more sticks in this than I thought I remember. But once you've got what you want your mixture to be, if you want a mixture, mix it together. If you don't know where to air, air on the side of black cow. Um, your compost it's not gonna hurt um, unless you're using like raw compost but the black cow's already been kind of filtered and screened and all that so we get just a really good mixture of what we're gonna want and let me show you a real quick tip mixed hey a little water not a lot and especially since this is most of this is wet already you don't want to go bonkers with it because you don't want mud. You just want it to be damp enough that you can, if you wanted to, you could shape it into a loose ball if you really packed it. If it gets to the point where it's compacting just from you mixing it, you put too much, add some more dirt. But this is pretty good. I don't have to add much. It looks really loose, but it is something, something that you can pack. Excited. All right. So after you've done that, seed trays, seedling trays. When you buy them from, when you buy them at the store, just use them. Um, I've got some actual trays which I'll show you how I'm going to use those in a minute. But uh, coming on down here, let me get you guys a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. All right, so we've got our soil mixed. All you're going to do, put it in. I like to give it a couple shakes, smooth it out. Do not pack it. Don't pack it. What you should do if you're really worried about wasting it, you want to get the air out, is just drop it a few times. Uh, You'll see how it's settled. I don't know if you can see that, but it's settled in there. And put a little bit more on the top. Some people really are really picky about their level. I am not. Just take it, give it another drop, 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 and you'll see that it doesn't really fall in there. And normally this would be good enough. You go put your seeds in there. Done, right? Put the seeds that you want in there. Just have to plant them at the right depth. Um, the smaller the seed, the higher they're planted. So the bigger the seed, the lower you want, the farther down you want. Most of the time. But, just for example, I'm, so I dumped this out and you can kind of see each of these. This is a good consistency because I don't want it to be forever stuck together because I want the, the plant to be able to get the roots in there and grow. So if I've really packed it in and when you water, it's gonna do the same thing. So you gotta be really careful when you water these uh, but it's not really strong. Like I can just take my finger and 
disintegrate, which is what we want. Uh, you don't want to pack it so tight that when it comes out, hey, you're getting a whole bunch of other stuff in there. Um, so let's try this. Okay, drop dirt in, smooth it out. Okay, check to see if you've got any clumps that you don't want in there or really any foreign material. You never know. Okay, big sticks or whatever. One, two, three. It's settled. I'm going to put some more on top. Smooth it out. This one's good to go. With the next one, you do the same thing. Drop the dirt in. Give it a shake. One, two, three. A little bit more on top. Pulling out some of the larger chunks. That one's good to go. We're seeing a pattern here yet, folks. It's really simple. There's no reason why you shouldn't. Give her a shake. One, two, three. Just set a little bit. If you're gonna skip a set, a step, skip the shaking and the packing step. But wait, you say, what if I bought seed trays like this instead of stolen ones from the leftovers? Not stolen. <laughs> Some of the ones that I'm using that I that I bought plants and I want to start my own seeds. Well. There's nothing wrong with that. As you can see here, Crookneck Squash bought these last year. This tray that had a few on there. I asked if I could have the tray even though there was like three plants on there. I'm like, yeah, that's fine, whatever. They don't want to keep them. Boom, right? Perfect size to start some of your bigger plants like tomatoes and peppers in if you need to let them go a little bit longer. We'll do those in a minute. That's a little bit more time consuming because they're individual pots. Or these I bought last year, loved them. I started everything in them. They got holes in the bottom. You gotta make sure that those are clear because you want to be able to drain. But you're basically gonna do the exact same thing. Scoop, drop, smear. Okay, you just wanna cover it. You don't wanna pack it. Okay, what a lot of people will end up doing is doing this. And look, I got all that dirt in there. But when you go to plant on that, it's not gonna work. So you just wanna Run your hand across the top, make sure they all get about the same. Some of these bigger chips, they don't, they're fine, they just don't fit in these. So you want to make sure that they're out of the way. Add a little bit there, looks pretty good to me. Okay, and then you'll see people like, oh, then you just gotta shake it. Well, look what happens on these end ones. I don't know if you can see that, but they're empty. Because I shook them and they shake them around all over the place. So, this is what I like to do. Lay my tray out where I want it. Try one want and just kind of run my hand down it. I ain't doing two rows at a time. I'm not. I'm starting at the top and working my way down. And I don't, because I, what I don't want is I don't want it to be where I can't see the plastic. So then I'll run my hand across the top and I'll look and see. We got a couple that need a little bit more. I'm not packing this in. I'm just running my hand across the top to smooth it out. Because I want to be able to see individual cells. So I can still see the individual cells here, which is what I want. Um, because it makes it a lot easier when you go to plant. So get this one out of the way. Let's do one more of those just kind of for illustrative purposes. Okay. Just taking it and running it my hand down from the top. Or from one end to the other, you could do it left to right if you really wanted to. Run my hand across, making sure that everything is going to be filled. And you'll notice I'm not, because of the way I'm doing these, I'm not going back and dropping these trays because they're so big, you end up making a mess unless you're like precision dropper. What are we going on, like three minutes now? Imagine how much smarter I get done if I wasn't talking to you guys. But I enjoy it. Um, if you're still watching, I appreciate you watching. Uh, we're gonna get this one filled in. Then we're gonna move on to the pots. And I'll show you what I do with those. It's basically the same system. But if you're like me and you just wanna know, you wanna see it, I'll show you.
All right, so got our individual pots. These are just being reused from plants that I've bought in the past um, or that someone's found and donated to me. Rookie mistake with these, scooping and pushing. Don't want to do that. Don't want to scoop and push because then you get this nice compact, well, that fell apart. But you usually get, you, you just cram it in there. And you'll see people do this. I've seen people do this. I've done this. If you've done it before and wondered why your plants aren't growing as strong, because I've just basically taken all the air pockets out, which is good. But on the other hand, instead of having air pockets, I've got nowhere for my roots to grow. Because remember, these are gentle little plants. They're not going to be super aggressive. So, I'll set this tray down within reach. And then I'll just fill it, give it a bit of a shake, and then drop it in the tray. One, two, give it a shake, drop it. So for most of these, I'm just, these are just old body plant um, holders or cups or whatever you want to call them. Two cup, two handfuls usually does it enough. You want to have it kind of full. It's not overflowing the top. You can kind of see there's maybe a half inch, quarter inch around. If you don't have these, that's fine. You can buy them. Um, but again, you can, I guess I should demonstrate this. So one, two, and a little bit. So you, it looks, looks, looks good, right? But this is also the reason why we want to tap them, the other, other ones, because now I've compacted that down to that. But I'm not doing that for every single one of these. And the reason for that is I'm going to do it as a group here in just a minute. So I'll just keep filling. One, two. Shake. It's a little too much. Give it a shake. Let me finish filling these and I'll get right back with you. So I have my full set of tray here. You can see I've got them in there. Um, use what you have. These are just leftovers. You know people that buy plants, ask them to save the plastic bits for you. They'll work for a couple years, uh, especially if you don't leave them laying out in the sunlight because they get real brittle with that. But here it is. I got about an inch in the top. Drop, set, ready to go. All right, so just, just a quick recap. Your dirt. Buy some black cow or some organic compost or something along those lines. Mix it with something that is made for raised beds or container gardens because what are you doing here? You're actually going to be using these containers to garden. Um, and I know there's going to be a lot of controversy over that. Just garden. Just go out and garden. You'll thank me for it if you've not ever done it before. But get out there, do some gardening. Put your dirt, you want to put it in whatever containers you got. I, well, I don't, have the, I don't have the money to buy plastic seed starting trays. And I don't have the money, I've never bought any gardening stuff before. I'm not going to go out and do all this. Guys, it's easy. Buy some solo, paper solo cups or even the plastic solo cups. You can reuse them and reuse them until they break. There's nothing wrong with that. And it's a great, in fact, it's a great way to start them. Um, you're just basically swapping out the plastic seed cups for what you can find at the dollar store. You can buy your seeds at the dollar store. You can buy the dirt at the dollar store. Um, it shouldn't be hard to grow your own food. At least start supplementing some of what you, you do at home. Um, the biggest reason why I do this, stress relief, <laughs> great. But anybody can do this garden stuff. You can do it in containers. I know you're looking at it I'm standing in the greenhouse. You're like, well, I don't have that. You don't need it. I'm standing here at the end of March. It's about to be 80 degrees um, for the next six months here in Alabama. So you can do it. Just figure some things out. If you need help, send me a message on uh, YouTube or Instagram. You can find us find us there on Pask underscore Farmstead. Uh, and you can check us out there. Hopefully the things will start growing and we'll be getting some motion going and getting the farm started up and really digging into that this year. Um, those are some of the goals at least. But I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe and share like I said. And um, get out there and grow something.